नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू स्टडी आई क्यू आई एम योर फ्रेंड राहुल सायगांवकर द एजेंडा ऑफ टूडेज डिस्कशन इज कनेक्टेड टू ओ टी टी प्लेटफॉर्म दैट इज ओवर द टॉप प्लेटफॉर्म एंड देर रेगुलेशन इन इंडिया इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डिस्कशन फॉर यूपीएस सिविल सर्विस प्रिपरेशन एंड आई वुड से दिस डिस्कशन इज गोइंग टू बी अ लिटिल हिलेरियस एज वेल सी वेन एवर वी टॉक अबाउट द प्रॉब्लम विद गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया विद डिस्कस वन ऑफ द इशूज एज लैक ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेशन लैक ऑफ कन्वर्जेंस अमॉन्ग डिफरेंट मिनिस्ट्रीज एंड डिपार्टमेंट्स इन द गवर्नमेंट and this is a classic case study of that problem because two ministries are tussling over the regulation of ott platforms so in this video lecture we will understand this entirely you will have a question sir why are we discussing this right now because recently a very important verdict has been given by td sat the telecom disputes and settlement appellate tribunal which has said that ott platforms are not governed by trai that is telecom regulatory authority of india which comes under ministry of communications it says that not under tri but under it rules these it rules are governed by the meti that is ministry of electronics and information technology so we'll understand this entire issue along with the regulation of ott platforms at the end of the discussion we'll also talk about what should we expect going forward and we'll also talk about some international experiences with respect to ott regulation that would be the end of our disc to get to know all this information stay with me till the very end all right let's begin but before that there is a small notice to all the upsc civil services aspirants study iq speed to i batch 1 where we are offering three different formats silver gold and platinum according to your convenience along with extended validities and the price has also lowered because the price is starting only from 24k 23999 to be precise the batch starting from october 10 6 pm it's the first batch beginning you can use my code rahul live for maximum discount even on these prices enroll soon i'll see you in the class all right let's begin first things first we need to understand what is this ott platform ott it is a rather a rather new term with the with the emergence or with the development of information and communications technology with cheapening of the prices of internet we are looking at more and more services be, being provided over the top that means one which do not have traditional infrastructure for instance for instance my tv i have a tv at my home where the cable comes and for that cable i need that cable wire i need the receiver i need a cable providing company etc so traditional infrastructure setup is needed but for these over the top platforms we do not need any traditional infrastructure what we need is a simple internet connectivity and the basic devices that we use in our everyday lives so over the platform over the top platforms are those services ott platforms or ott services are those services which are utilizing the internet to bypass traditional infrastructure and most often when we talk about ott immediately netflix come to our mind disney hotstar comes to our mind all the other video streaming apps come to our mind it's not just video streaming but it it's also any sort of infrastructure that uses internet for instance say for payment for your transportation robin hood uber ola venmo or your content services which are normally the weaving services messaging services along with other devices as well all right so these are the ott platforms and i'm quite sure that many of you that you do not need an introduction to this isn't it i'm quite sure a lot of you are using the uh, the apple tv or say netflix amazon amazon uh, prime is there right you do have a uh, you do have your disney hotstar you have your z5 sony live alt balaji ullu or so many mx player so many people have started content services those are all ott platforms the question comes up sir who regulates these ott platforms in our country who regulates them and why regulation is needed see in general when we talk about media or content industry they prefer self regulation you now you do understand with respect to print media the newspapers the governing body is the autonomous institution that is press council of india on tv on tv we have for news as well as tv and entertainment we have the cable tv networks regulation act under which self regulation is allowed and different kind of regulators have come for instance uh, for advertising there is advertising standard council of india right uh, you have for content based you have other authorities self regulating authorities which have been created but what about the online content 
and what about the online rules and regulations do we have any sort of oversight now till recently we did not have any sort of oversight or regulation and we do need regulation first of all whenever we talk about regulation everybody thinks about the content and they say that sir on these on these apps a lot of objectionable content comes or some controversial content comes i can give you an example of so many things so many things where uh, ad adult content does come 18 plus content comes sometimes controversial content tandav the series uh, tandav if i'm not wrong on amazon prime uh, it 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 uh, was mired in a controversy series like triple x censored on alt balaji again uh, rashberry etc there are so many so many contents which which come into question but i'm not just talking about this content i'm in general talking about the other rules and regulations as well yes the content plus their rules and regulations fair competition fair use right the, the concept of fairness has to be there everywhere isn't it that's the basic idea so what happened with this regulation till recently till i would say till 2020 or before that we did not have any sort of regulation on the ott platforms and the services were being provided from long back you do know so various petitions were filed with the honorable supreme court and in october 2020 the supreme court it issued a notice to the central government as well as the internet and mobile association of india regarding the regarding the regulation how are you going to regulate it so based on this based on this the central government that is the meti ministry of electronics and information technology they came up with with guidelines in 2021 now this happened in february 2021 the information technology intermediary guidelines and digital media ethics code now the question is can they do it yes because they derive power from it act 2000 under the it act 2000 there is section 87 which gives powers to the central government to bring rules and regulations and you do understand now this is this is a classic kind of legislation it is a law and whenever there are rules now what are these rules called from exam perspective i want you to remember these rules are nothing but subordinate legislations under the primary law it act 2000 a subordinate law or subordinate rules regulations guidelines came up in 2021 so what happened after this what happened after this the rules categorize certain things they said social media intermediaries that means basically the ott platforms or the social media inter intermediaries they were divided into two categories one was normal social media inter intermediary and significant social media intermediary where the user base is more than 50 lakh in fact you would not believe the number of ott users in india has already crossed 5 crore that means more than 5 crore people in india have over the top services on their mobile so there are many significant players for instance i would say amazon prime is a sig significant social media intermediary netflix i can give example uh, i can say geo cinema as well now geo cinema WhatsApp is one classic example, Instagram is one classic example. So, all these intermediaries would come under significant. So, dividing has happened. Now, this dividing itself was questioned initially why there is no equality among intermediaries. Let's not talk about that. But apart from that, they came up with rules and regulations. Now, rules and regulations were quite plain simple. They said due diligence should be followed by the intermediaries. Every intermediary, they should create a grievance redressal mechanism. Anybody who is taking their services, if they, are, they have any grievance, that has to be redressed. Apart from that, they must ensure that online safety and dignity of users, especially women, that has to be maintained. Apart from that, a voluntary verification mechanism should be there. That's why whenever you log in on these intermediaries, they ask your mobile number, email, number, email. Many people ask your Aadhaar as well, right? Aadhaar, etc., etc. Apart from that, any unlawful information on government request, they have to be removed. And in February 2021, when the rules came, it was said, will implement them in three months and for the significant social media intermediaries there were certain more compliances for the bigger intermediaries more compliances were required they were supposed to appoint a compliance officer a grievance officer a nodal point nodal point person a grievance officer also publish monthly report on their compliance all these things have have come Apart from that, the most contentious aspect was section 9 of these rules. Now, section 9 of these rules, it spoke about a code of ethics. And this code of ethics is created by the government itself. They said that you have to follow these codes of ethics. First of all, with respect to content, this is very fine. 
this is very fine whatever content you have segregate it segregate it that means the content suitable for 7 plus 13 plus 16 plus adult you have to categorize you have to mention it boldly on your content itself along with it you also have to provide parental control on your app on your if you are an intermediate provide a parental control as well that's very fine apart from this the other rules were that they will bring regulation three levels of regulation would be brought on the social media intermediaries or the ott platform self regulation by themselves that means they are going to self regulate first and then self regulation by a body a body which will be created again by themselves only first of all self regulating by publisher himself second would be self regulatory body which would where the it would be headed by a retired judge and six members eminent persons and this body shall be registered with the ministry of information and broadcast okay now apart from this the third level was the most contentious the third level of regulation was oversight mechanism and this oversight mechanism that means the oversight would, would be completely under the ministry of inv ministry of information broadcasting it shall be the oversight ministry and they would give the oversight rules and regulations so what would happen when the rules came up of course the rules were challenged the rules were challenged many prominent newspapers many prominent publishers like uh, from the wire from the news minute live log quint they filed multiple petitions challenging the legality of it rules 2021 and the courts also held that some provisions of the it rules in 2021 especially rule 9 rule 93 which deal with the code of ethics they would not be implemented they shall not be implemented that was the rule that means the rules came up with certain exceptions now till here the story is fine till here the story is fine you you might be thinking sir the government what did they do wrong okay till here very very fine probably they went a step ahead especially with the oversight mechanism and the code of ethics that they created and the court rectified that but now comes the catch in the movie now what happened here the department of telecommunications also came in the fray department of telecommunications it comes under ministry of communications what they did was they released a draft telecommunication bill now in the draft telecommunication bill 2022 they specifically mentioned that we will be regulating the telecom services that are provided basically bsnl airtel etc all these telecom services we would be regulating them along with it we will also be regulating over the top platforms m2m platforms that means machine to machine platforms and data communication services as well so here came the confusion the dot said we also will regulate in the draft again this has not come it's a draft bill 2022 now meanwhile the dot before in 2020 also it had suggested it had suggested that there should be no scrutiny or i would say no kind of censoring which should run for the intermediaries for the ott platforms and the social media inter intermediaries the dot department of telecommunications said there should be no censoring etc that was the 2020 stance so meanwhile dot swooped in but the mati continued the mati rules continue right you do understand so the mati it also brought rules and regulations in 2023 as well it amended these rules in 2023 in april 2023 and again they brought certain aspects especially connected to online game they said online games which are only permitted by the self regulatory body only they should come along with that they will also have guidelines with respect to kyc financing advertising etc everything is fine they also said that amended rules allow the government to notify multiple self regulating bodies as well okay apart from that the most contentious aspect in the amended it rules that amended rules of 2021 which were amended in 2023 april in that they suggested that the obligation for intermediaries to publish share host fake false misleading information would now be would now be regulated and for that anything notified by central government's fact fact check unit if they fact check and if they say that this information provided by you is wrong then you shall remove it this is the most contentious rule again 
So what was bound to happen when the rules came in 2023? People again filed cases. In fact, the Internet Freedom Foundation, it told that the IT amendment rules 2023 are a nightmare. They are a nightmare. So these were also challenged in different courts. And recently, the Bombay High Court, the Bombay High Court has again wrapped the central government and asked them, you have a fact-checking body. You said you are going to create a fact-checking unit, a FCU. The question is, who is going to fact-check this FCU? Is there any oversight on that? Funny, isn't it? So, the matter is still sub -judice. We'll We'll talk about this. Uh, what Whenever an update comes up with respect to OTT regulation, we'll discuss about that. Okay. But question comes up. Sir, okay, now you told me that the METI is involved, Ministry of Information Broadcasting is involved, yes. And uh, the uh, DOT is involved. So, what happened with the DOT? The DOT swooped in again. Meanwhile, in July 2023, the Department of telecommunications or under the ministry of communications we have dot under which we have trai the telecom regulatory authority of india they have floated a consultation paper where they suggested that we are going to regulate ott and before in 2020 they suggested that there should be no ban on otts and now they suggest that selective ban can be imposed on over the top platforms especially for the messaging app very interesting now, there is a tussle between Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology who say we have the regulating power over the OTTs under the IT rules. The Department of Telecommunications says we are also going to regulate the OTT platforms and a consultation paper has been released. In fact, you can give your feedbacks. I think even now, 90 days, till 90 days, you are supposed to give feedback over this. So, people will ask feedback on this. All right. This is the situation as of now. Utter confusion. Who regulates? <laughs> Still a confusion. Now, in the meantime, in the meantime, another tribunal. Now, this tribunal, it is connected to the Department of Telecommunication itself. You know, it comes from the Ministry of Communications. That is uh, Telecom Disputes and Settlement Appellate Tribunal. Now, at this appellate tribunal, there was a case filed. There was a case filed. And this case was filed by All India Digital Cable Federation. Now, what this Digital Cable Federation says that the OTT platforms, they are using unfair means to gain advantage, to gain viewership. It's quite fair. This is not specific to content, but you do know, you do have, you do know that there are advertisements that you can watch the entire World Cup free. I have seen that ad. In fact, quite recently, I saw the India's match on Disney Hotstar and I don't think I have a subscription. I may have a subscription. Okay. So, so, uh, so what happened was, what happened was these, these uh, OTT platforms like Disney Hotstar, they are providing everything for free. Everything for free. They say, if you have a mobile, you simply download the Disney Hotstar and watch the match. But I don't have a mobile. Imagine I don't have a mobile. I have a TV. For my TV, I have to pay monthly subscription for a Star Sports. But on mobile, it is free. On TV, it is not free. Why? And that was the question which was asked by the Cable Federation, All India Cable Federation. If you are providing free on mobile, provide it free on cable as well. Why not free on the cable? This makes sense, isn't it? It makes sense. So, case was filed like this. And a, and a simple question was asked by the to the TD SAT that simply pass an order suggesting or telling the Star Sports channel to give free everywhere. Give it free to all the people, right? And what the TD SAT did was it said the OTT platforms are not governed by us. They are not governed by TRAI. All right? Fun. So now you have a question. So what exactly is the standing? It still goes on. It still goes on that it is the OTT platforms are right now governed under the IT rules. In the meantime, the Department of Telecommunication, it has launched or it has asked for consultation, it has asked for inputs from people with respect to regulation of OTT. So, we will we'll wait what exactly happens and in the meantime, I wish that, I wish that Star Sports would be free on TV as well because I would say this makes sense, isn't it? It simply asks for equality or parity between cable and your mobile, right? <laughs> so, let's see what exactly happens but i hope that you must have found 
some kind of laughs in this particular discussion where you see the classic case of lack of coordination convergence among departments and in fact a tussle among departments or ministries over the OTT platform because OTT is a huge, huge giant. As I told you, crores of people are right now using those services. Imagine uh, there are hardly around 2 crore users of Twitter, but uh, the users of WhatsApp, Instagram, other, other platforms are, are way huge. They are, they, are, uh, they are in the numbers of somewhere around 50 crores. I would say WhatsApp, it, it, people using WhatsApp are more than 50 crore in India itself. Instagram, Telegram, Netflix, etc. They, ha they have become significant social media intermediary and some sort of decent regulation is needed. Now question comes up, sir, what, what should we expect basically? What should we expect in this, in this realm or in this domain is clarity, is clarity. The first question is who is regulating this clarity has to come. Who is regulating this clarity has to come. Be it, be it. Uh, say Ministry of Information Broadcasting, be it rules are made by METI or Department of Telecommunication, a clarity has to come. And it would be highly preferable if we bring a law in this regard. Right now, it is a subordinate legislation, simple rules under an act which is of 2000. Under that, we are being governed or regulation is being passed under that. So, preferably, a law specifically with respect to OTT platforms can come or the revamp of the IT Act itself can happen. Apart from that, self-regulation is something which is preferable more and more because again, uh, OTT platforms, they also include media, news, not just the content like Netflix, etc. They are also included, but a lot of other platforms are there which are akin to media itself and we need freedom for that. Apart from that, we need clarity with respect to technical regulation and some policy clarity thought. So, what, what exactly uh, this means is uh, probably an OTT regulating authority of India might come, which can give more and more self-regulation to uh, self-regulation norms to these OTTs. All right? But you need to understand that there is some sort of regulation needed for sure because prime of AC, prime of AC, this decision by Disney Hotstar is actually a copy of what Geo Cinema did. Now, you do understand what Geo Cinema did during IPL? They said IPL is free for you. Take it. Go. Same, taking a leaf from the same book, what Disney Hotstar is doing right now. Everybody, everybody download Disney Hotstar because World Cup is free for you. But the same thing does not apply on the TV. Right? So, these practices, aren't they unfair? They are unfair, isn't it? So, some sort of clarity is needed on this. Now, let me just leave you with a question for your practice first of all a food for thought as well do you think we need a review of it act and probably under this it act we can create a separate chapter for the ott itself probably yes it's a it's a question for you to practice what do you understand about ott content and critically analyze the need for self regulation of content on ott platforms in india all right so try to attempt this you decide the word limit and you attempt. But before I leave, let me give you some ideas regarding what is the international experience in terms of OTT regulation. First of all, in countries or in areas like European Union and countries like USA, there is very little regulation on these OTT platforms. Although in USA, in 2019 itself, there was a proposal to create a new regulatory framework for OTT, but the US Federal Communications uh, Commission, they said, regulation would not be needed but they have sought for uh, they have sought for a better and strict kind of content regulation especially looking at content connected with minors and children all right now apart from that eu it doesn't have any specific body for regulation which is in line which is in line with uh, the so called freedom of speech and expression highly valuable in those areas yes where the restrictions are a little less i would say apart from that they have they have uh, released the paper, EU has released the paper, illegal and harmful content on internet for countries for their safety along with a threat to minor and such content would not be allowed. But some other countries, say for instance Singapore, Singapore has a specific body, Infocom Media Development Authority and all the OTT platforms before they begin the service, they need to obtain a license from them. Apart from that, 
they are they also are supposed to follow a kind of a code a kind of a code and if they do not follow the code then the consent can be withdrawn along with penalties they can be imposed similarly in australia the old body the old body that they had communications and media authority of australia or australia's communication media authority there they have created a separate office called as e safety commissioner e safety commissioner and this e safety commissioner is responsible for regulating the digital media content some sort of clarity has been provided in other nations india might take a leaf out of this and uh, at least avoid the regulatory tussle that is going on right now we might get clarity in the upcoming months but that is the standing as of now the it rules apply department of telecommunication has swooped in they have also brought a draft bill and when the draft bill is passed say in the parliament it is going to lead to more and more uh, more and more confusion and i would say uh, more job or more work for the judiciary as well let's wait and watch what exactly happens uh, as and when that happens we'll have a discussion on study iq for sure i hope this was a fruitful session for you an eye opening session for you if there is any update on this we'll have a discussion again thank you very much jai hind